What's going on guys? Today we're gonna have a very serious conversation. We're gonna talk about some stuff that's all over the internet that I consistently see in certain segments of the community and I consistently see that there are many people who have bad credit who want to get um, the fake number, I forget what that's called. Uh, I don't even know what that's called. You can put that in the comments and they want to go ahead and create these alternate credit profiles in order to get credit in their personal name. And then they want to create these, they want to get an age corporation so they can go out and get business credit. And one of the things that I consistently see is there's a lot of misinformation out there. I can personally tell you if you have good credit, which is the key, which is good personal credit. You can get three hundred to five hundred thousand dollars worth of business credit with a brand new LLC. I have a course, the money management course below that will teach you how to do that. And it's free. It's in the first comment or it should be in the description box. But this is one of the things that I personally do not understand. As an individual, you know that you have bad credit and we're going to talk about reasons for bad credit in a minute and you have bad credit and you want to go out and get these large personal lines of credit, uh, lines, blocks of credit. You want to get all this stuff, yet you have a habit. Once again, we'll get to the reason of not paying your bills. And one of the things that I am beginning to understand is that a lot of people really don't care because here's the thing, you have bad credit. Let's say you were in an automobile accident, you got laid up, you had to go to the hospital, you were, you were really, really messed up. And because you were in the hospital, you weren't working, your credit went bad. Do you understand that you can write a goodwill letter showing proof that you were in the hospital and get that stuff off your credit report? So the vast majority of bad credit isn't, you know, these things do happen. People get sick, people get in auto accidents. These things do happen, which can lead to bad credit. But that's a workable, fixable situation. The main reason that most people have bad credit is no one ever taught them how to manage their credit. No one ever taught them how to use their credit. I have a friend with a son and my friend who has other children, he put all his kids on his credit cards when they were really young, like 12, 14. He put them on there so they could start developing a credit profile. And not only did he do that, he sat them down and had a discussion about credit, when to use credit, how not to use credit. And all these kids have amazing credit scores and they're really young, like 20 to 24. And because they were schooled in using credit, their total YouTube channels set up to teach people CPN, credit profile number. That's the thing I couldn't remember. To go ahead and set up these bad credit profiles to get car loans, to get apartments and all this other stuff. And let me go ahead and say this, as we move closer and closer to the ultimate level of technology, a lot of these things that you can do today, you're not gonna be able to do in the future. If you're trying to get a credit card using that pulls from experience, because one of the things I've noticed is a lot of these credit card companies are pulling from Experian and the Experian validates your social security number. You know, so you run a fake social security number through there, it's gonna validate it and it's gonna probably come up bad. Cause I, I've noticed that so many people that I've recently gotten credit with, well, last year, they pulled Experian and as Equifax and TransUnion adopts these habits of verifying your social security number, this is pretty much gonna kill the CPN game for a lot of people who are trying to use someone else's social security number or use a made up social security number or use the manufactured social security number to get credit. It's, it's just literally gonna get really, really hard. And one of the things that I really see is, like I said, a lack of money management, a lack of proper financial protocols that is creating this situation where people are not doing the proper things with their credit. Like once again, things happen. You get laid off, you get divorced, you get sick, things happen. But the majority of bad credit isn't because something happened. The majority of bad credit is because people didn't know how to manage their credit profiles. And I'm literally seeing a lot of people who have bad credit due to personal mismanagement of credit 
who want to get a business credit who are going out getting these net 30s. And let me just go ahead and say this. Getting net 30s will not get you a MasterCard, Visa, American Express, or a business line of credit. Net 30s will not do that. The only thing that's gonna help you get that is good personal credit. And this is one of the things that so many people don't understand because I literally saw a YouTube video with this girl. She had a repossession and she ended up buying a Tesla. And I was just sitting there like, oh my God. And I, I have not seen any more videos by her, but I'm just sitting there like, that car is just waiting to be repossessed because this person doesn't have good money management habits. And typically when you have someone who doesn't have good money management habits out here trying to do certain things, trying to build certain things, trying to create certain things, this creates a big problem because once again, this is one of the reasons that I created the money management course to help people optimize their finances, to help people optimize their money, to help people understand the things that they need to do in regards to money and credit because there are so many people who simply don't understand don't know and this is continually getting them in a conflict with their credit in a conflict with commerce because one of the things that you have to understand to build out a million dollar business line of credit or lines of credit credit cards lines of credit you're gonna need very good personal credit. And I don't care, there was a guy on YouTube by the name of The Credit Game. His name was Mike something. He got in legal trouble for the stuff he was doing because here's the thing. If you're a person with bad credit and let's say you have repossessions, you have charge-offs, you have a lot of bad issues on your credit report, typically the only thing that's gonna help you is time. Because one of the things that people are doing is they're going to the CF, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, to get stuff off their credit report that is true and accurate. It, it, it's, it's just people want what they want. They don't want to do the right things. They don't want to set themselves up. They don't want to um, do the proper things to go ahead and set up themselves for success on a personal credit level. And it's going to get worse because right now, in my opinion, we're not in the credit crunch, not at the moment, but we've had big bank failures. We have the slowing economy. We have drop it, dropping stuff that's being shipped. So the economy is definitely slowing down. And it's just a matter of time before we have a credit card. It's just a matter of time. And it's gonna get harder and harder for people to get these things because Capital One, which used to finance dealerships, actually got out that business because the business of selling cars has gotten really, really hard. It's gotten really, really harsh. So what we're going to see in my opinion, at some point, we're going to see somewhat of a credit crunch. Now, for the people who are well financed, that have good cash flow, their businesses are doing well, they will not experience a credit crunch because they have cash flow. But for a lot of people who are trying to sneak in into the good credit side, trying to establish certain things, it's going to get really, really challenging. Now, one of the things that I do see, if you have good credit, your chances of being a victim of fraud is going to go through the roof. It's going to be real, because you're, you're, it's just like you're a target. You have good credit, you have good credit cards. Why not? They will come for you. And I would advise these people to get credit monitoring, to know that like, I look at my credit reports just out of habit pretty much every day. And if there's like a new account that pops up there, I want to contact that company and say, hey, I did not apply for that account, that account that was fraud and I want it off my credit report and you need to close that account. Be on it just like that. Because as we go through this period of a lot of people with bad credit, of a lot of people who are doing certain things as we go through this situation, we're going to see more and more credit card Fraud. We're going to see a lot of things happen. We're going to see a lot of things populate on the board for credit cards, 
for business lines of credit, for business loans, unless you have impeccable records, because I have business credit cards, I have lines of credit, and I have to show my tax records. And if you do not have, you know, if you just got negative tax records, it's not gonna work. You must actually pay your taxes and show a positive return on your, your tax records to get these super lines of credit. Uh, the real estate trapper talked about this. You're not getting a $100,000 line of credit, maybe Wells Fargo, maybe Fifth Third Bank, you can. And that's only gonna last so long because one of the things that happened, cause like, let's talk about Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo, you could not get a business credit card or a business line of credit last year without showing your tax returns. Now they have a new program where you can get a business credit card and if you season it correctly, you can get a business line of credit up to 100K without showing any documents. All of this stuff, because I'm in it, is constantly changing. What they need, what they don't need, who's offering this, who's offering that. And one of the things that you have to understand and acknowledge is when you're doing business credit building, you have to understand the game. You have to know the game. You have to know the credit score. You have to know how to apply who to apply to, who not to apply to. You, you have to know all of this stuff. Otherwise, you're going to be in a very bad, bad situation in terms of trying to get business lines of credit. Because at the moment, I am not applying for anything. I'm gardening it. Because last year I went nuts. I got a lot of personal credit cards. I got business credit cards. And now my credit report needs to cool off and let some of these inquiries age a bit. But essentially what I'm telling you is you need to go ahead and get your personal credit together and hopefully you do not have a lot of bad things on your personal credit because honestly, I feel the only thing that's gonna help you is time. It's just time. And one of the things that you need to do and need to understand is building personal credit is an art and building business credit is the ballet of the art and once you understand how to do it understand because essentially and i'm going to tell you you need to be in a position where you're not using your credit to get large lines of credit the large you know business credit cards uh, business lines of credit your personal credit needs to be as clean as possible for you to get these extremely large credit lines you first of all your personal credit's got to be straight your taxes have to be straight and your fico's got to be straight all three of those things got to be straight for you to get these six figure credit lines of credit now there's a bunch of lines of credit that you can get 20 maybe up to thirty thousand dollars without showing documentation, but you would need a lot of them. You would need to find three banks that's gonna give you $30,000 and a business credit card on the business side to equivalent, you know, to have the equivalent of going to one bank, showing your tax returns and walking out of there with a $100,000 or a $250,000 business line of credit or walking out there with a 50 to $100,000 credit card. To play those games, you've got to be appropriately stacked. And one of the things that I consistently see is many people feel that having these credit products is vanity. That it's like, I want them, I should have them. Even though my financial standpoint dictates that I shouldn't have them. I don't care. I got bad credit. I don't pay my bills. I want that $100,000 American Express because I want it. I need that so I can flex on the gram so I can post a picture of it on the gram. And it, it's just nonsense. It's just typically nonsense because once again, this is the reason that I created the money management course to educate, to help people understand what they needed to be, how to stack their money, how to have cash on hand, how to do certain things so that they can be 100% established and set up for good credit, for business credit. And one of the things that I consistently see, and th this is, and it, it's kind of interesting. There are YouTube channels that talk about how to get a CPN, how to get fake credit, how to build stuff, how to buy zombie debt, how to do all this other stuff. And if you just lived your life in a good standard, and you did not max out your credit, you can go ahead and get these things, but for some reason, people want what they want. Uh, the credit plug left a comment saying that people want these credit cards, 
so they can max him out and walk away. That was the essentially what the gist of what he said. And that's like really sad because when you have a bunch of debt and it's in your name, that's going to follow you like a haunted ghost. It's going to show up when you least expect it. It's just going to show up. It's going to be a problem. So for my folks out there who want to get good credit, go below, get the money management course. Also, it's May. So what we're doing in May is I'm creating a course on how to get things done, because this is one of the things that I feel that was missing with my educational setup how to get things done, how to do things, how to manage that. So this is one of the things that is happening and I'm going to start advertising it pretty heavily here on YouTube, talking about how to get stuff done, how the sequence, and also the pricing is very consumer friendly. Normally my courses cost a grip. This course doesn't with the discount. So that will also be below and um, you can go ahead and get that and then you can go ahead and start to learn how to get things done, how to improve stuff, how to use your subconscious mind to go ahead and facilitate the things that you need to do for you to be successful in these times. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you today. I may see you tomorrow and I will definitely see you in the next video.